pa el centro pa adentro perreando contigo que bien yo me siento pa arriba pa abajo pa el centro pa adentro perreando contigo que bien yo me siento Panama had been my second job with Passos. The first had been easy, money for banging waitresses at some fancy wedding in the Caribbean. This seemed like another easy gig. It was the middle of the day, and like any self-respecting idiot, I was half cut. Nothing like doing some good blows, some good friends on a boat. Nasty! New Jersey, huh, Max? Some ways. Hey, come on, it's awesome. Yeah. He's drunk and tan, listening to house music. Most of them have plastic surgery and they're all doing blow. I guess it is kind of like Jersey, huh? <laughs> That's really funny, Max. Hey, so. Drinking so much, I give myself serious liver damage. Hey, big deal. You can always get a new one. Relax. I hope you're not drinking on the job, gentlemen. <laughs> Kidding. I hope you are. Just <laughs> stay off the ale. Hmm? I don't have enough to share. I'm kidding again. <laughs> oh, Mikey. Even though we just met, I feel like we are good friends. You know. Mm. I feel like safe with you guys. Know that. Real safe. Great. And I love New York. Uh, the East Hamptons. Do you know it? Uh, not really. I, I spent my honeymoon in Montauk. Oh, where's that? It's just down the road. Whatever. Last time I was there, I got so wasted, I nearly shit myself. <laughs> I didn't know you were married. Yeah, well, my wife passed away. Good. Not good. Bad. Real bad. But good because now I can get you laid a lot. <laughs> it is great to be single, hey. Uh, I love a woman. She's with another and she doesn't want to know it. Fuck her. I mean, could you believe that shit? Okay. Excuse me, I'm going to uh, go to speak to Felipe. Felipe! You crazy crackhead! Lay off the yayo, hey! Passos. Walk on the What's the deal with this guy, eh? He's kind of stuck up. He's a good guy. Yeah, uh, sure, ta bon, ta bon. But have him smile a bit more, you know? Because life, life is good! <laughs> ah. Where's the truck? It's coming. He's soon. Passos. I gotta go my down. Okay.
The dead guys looked like soldiers in one of those Central American guerrilla armies. Pirates with a manifesto. Psychos with a dream. That sort of bullshit. The radio. Maybe I could send out an SOS. It certainly wasn't the first time I'd woken up with a hangover, long after a party had turned sour. The need to get out of the boat's hull and onto the upper deck as soon as possible was countered by the probability of running into another hijacker. I had to move carefully. fresh air before I died. It was like the need for a wake-up whiskey after a two-day bender. How to shut off the fuel feeds. Move, Max. I shut down one engine, but it didn't make much difference. could get back to smelling like suntan oil, stale margaritas, and greed. Oigan, cubranme! Ya estás cubierto! So this was the famous Panama Canal. We could have gone to the moon while I was passed out and I wouldn't have noticed. It was a different scene than the one I'd stumbled away from. Where was everyone? I still didn't know what the hell happened. I didn't like to think what was behind the door. The guys up ahead weren't dealing with passengers like the rest of them. Maybe I should have realized then that this was no ordinary kidnap job. Something on the boat had attracted the sharks. for appeared to be gone. Daphne's ship was always stocked.
¡Miguel! ¡Vení para aquí! There was something firing these guys other than good old-fashioned socialist zeal. What were they looking for?